Hello again. Yep, it's that time. It's another most frequently asked question. I'm going to do it this time about the Altura Photo Rapid Fire Strap. And that's going to be with the original version and the new ooh, retro vintage. If this video helps you out, remember to hit me up with a like button underneath. And as always, subscribe to our channel for future sessions, unboxings, and frequently asked questions such as this. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Does it work with my camera and a grip attached? Absolutely. I think what I've seen is that photographers and users have gone confused. They've tried to attach the crab, i.e. lobster clamp in this section here. If you want to do that, if you want to attach it to this portion, you would have to use the safety tether and put this portion here if you choose to. But if you want to still use the rapid fire plate for your tripod use also, you have to clamp it on here. Notice how it fits perfectly and then you use your lobster claw. There it goes. And see? It holds it perfectly. I'll show you how it hangs on the side. It's really comfortable. And again, this is a very popular grip camera combination, the 7D Mark II with the BGE-16 grip. I'll show you how it hangs on the side. Very simple to work with. And here you have it. This is the Altura Rapid Fire with my power grip attached to my 7D Mark II and notice how how well it hangs to the side it hangs there perfectly very comfortable not killing my shoulder not bothering my neck thank goodness because this doesn't go around the neck and bring it up to shoot bring it right back down no issue whatsoever and this is how it looks and works with a battery grip Is the camera going to flop around when you're walking around with the Altura Photo Rapid Fire Strap? No, not really, because notice how it hangs on the side here. Now, if you're just normal walking, it's, it's still there. It's going to hang there. Now, if you're a run and gun photographer or videographer or you're a paparazzi and you're having to run a lot, just hang on to it, honestly. That way, when you're doing this, it's not flopping around. But under normal walking, it's comfortable. It doesn't eat into your neck and it allows you to walk around with heavy equipment such as this with no issues. Can I take pictures while wearing the strap? It better. If not, it's not doing its job. Here I have my trusty 5D Mark IV, have my Altura Photo Rapid Fire strap attached, start shooting. Yeah, it, it's doing what it's supposed to. You have to be able to use your camera while the rapid fire strap is attached. I've read that some of the manufacturer straps start fraying and falling apart after a while. Well, here's an Altura rapid fire that I've been using for a while. This guy usually gets attached to something this massive and it's been on display here at the Digital Goja showrooms. I mean, it's got a couple of little stains on there. Yeah, you know, those you can clean off. And no, I, I don't see, except, I mean, it's been used, it's been worn, it's been tried out by many customers that have come in to see how it functions. And it really doesn't have anything where it seems to be falling apart or fraying. So it really depends on the manufacturer that you purchase your straps from but so far the newest version here of the Altura Photo Rapid Fire Strap has been doing its job and been able to hold up and keep up its shape properly. Does it work with hybrid cameras? Yeah I have a perfect example here. This is something that's really popular in today's market are these hybrid all-in-ones. This is the Canon SX60HS PowerShot and notice how it fits perfectly on the bottom. You don't have any issues about that. 
The thing is, since we're mostly all going to wear it this way, where it hangs on the side so it's easier to bring up to your eye to shoot, this covers your battery door. Very simple. When it's time to change your battery, just flip it to the side here and you now have full access to change your memory card, in this case, and your battery. And then once you do that, you go ahead and line it back up and tighten it. And there you have it. The rapid fire works perfectly well with today's hybrid cameras on the market. Multi pouch, hold a lens cap. Well, it all depends on the size of the lens cap. I mean, if you're working with these huge lenses, like an 82 millimeter, it's much wider than your lens strap. I mean, here's a 67, still no go. Uh, let's see. Well, here's a micro four thirds lens cap, but it's a standard 52 millimeter. So there's a lot of DSLRs out there that work with that size. Does that fit in there? Ooh, yep, it sure does. So there you go, have it. If you have a 52 millimeter or smaller, you should be able to have no problem putting your lens cap in there. If they say, for example, you don't have a cap keeper attached to it, here's a perfect example. This is one of those lens caps from the hybrid cameras that are on the market. It's a little bit smaller size, and that also fits in there. And you can close the zipper up, not an issue. And here's a 46 millimeter which is even smaller, that also fits in there. And I've seen some smaller than that, like 42 and 40.5. Those will fit in there with no issue whatsoever. What's the size of the rapid fire base plate? Well, let's take a look. Let's measure it here. Trusty ruler. So the part that is completely flush to the base of your camera is about five and three quarter inches and it's about yep three and three quarter inches in width so it's ample enough that if you even have a huge full frame DSLR it attaches very easily there and if you're working with a more normal size SLR like for example a Rebel or a crop sensor camera. Notice how it doesn't protrude off of the sides. It still gives you a nice connection on the bottom of your camera. So it is the right size if you're working with different types of interchangeable lens cameras. And it'll even work with some of the hybrids that are out there. One of the questions that I've seen about the Altura Photo Rapid Fire Strap is it, does it cause neck pain problems? No, if you're putting this around your neck, you're wearing it wrong. Let me show you, notice how it looks like a sling. It's gonna hang on the side and it's never going to bother your neck. Let me show you how to wear it. Okay, I'm a fairly large guy, so I already have it extended to the full max. Actually, not really, because I still have some extra length here. So if you're a little bit taller, I'm six feet, it should still work for you. But notice how this is being worn on the shoulder. If you try to put this around your neck, I can see why it would be cumbersome because my goodness, even the one that comes with our cameras is cumbersome around the neck, let alone something that is padded and this thick. This is meant so it's on your shoulder. The camera hangs on the side here and you bring it up to shoot and it hangs on the side again. So, and look, I'm. This is a really heavy camera, so it, it still works with something this big. So imagine if this is around your neck, of course it's going to be painful. So no, you want to wear it in the sling design. That's what the Altura Photo Rapid Fire Strap is meant to be used as. And believe me, you'll have much more comfortable shooting situation. Should I remove the strap to put it on my tripod? I would suggest not wearing the strap because that's how accidents happen. I mean, right now I have my uh, base plate for my very trusty Manfrotto here. And notice how I could still try doing something like this 
and wearing it. But this is how accidents happen because if I move a little bit too far off, yeah, everything comes tumbling down and I have some pretty expensive camera equipment here. So that's why they give you the quick release, the little lobster crab cloth, remove that and you have full access to your tripod. I can now move the camera as freely as I want, even if I want to do vertical shots, whatever I want to do, it's going to allow me to work with it. And then guess what? I'm done. I want to just walk around with the camera now. Take it off, clamp it back on. There you go. You're ready to go for a day of shooting and you can still take your tripod along. But honestly, I would suggest removing the strap from your rapid fire base plate when you're going to attach it to your tripod. It's better to be safe than sorry. Does the shoulder pad stay in place? Yes, it does. I mean, this is the newest version and the pad does not move up and down. You still have the nice padding underneath. You have this rubberized grip surface. So this is going to allow it to stay put even though you're walking around a lot with super heavy gear. And I'll show you a close up of how the stitching has been changed so now it doesn't move back and forth on the strap itself. Notice how on this version, there is stitching here so that this strap doesn't move along. So it's always in this position. So you're not gonna have any slippage of the strap moving up and down as you're walking around with your Altura Photo Rapid Fire strap. Does it come with everything I need to start using it? Absolutely. Let's take a look first at the original Rapid Fire neck strap. Let's open it up and see what comes in the packaging. Of course, we're getting the strap, which is very well constructed. This is their newest version. Here is your clasp, your lobster clasp or crab as some people like to call it. Here of course is your rapid attachment plate which allows you to have quick access and you also have this area here where a lot of us sometimes want to attach I've seen some people attach the tether this way. I believe this is meant for the consumer that doesn't want to use this clasp. Sometimes they attach their regular strap to this portion because this is also available separately. And this is the rapid fire safety tether, which is also included. And this of course is now the rapid fire neck strap. This is their retro vintage design. And we'll take a look at what comes in here. Here we go. Yep, you have the same construction. So there is your rubber non-slip surface on the back with the padding and you still have your pocket for extra storage. And there is your lobster crab clamp and of course, The most important part to me is the rapid fire attachment. And of course, the new added benefit of the rapid fire safety tether with the carabiner that allows you to attach it to your camera. Also giving you some extra added safety benefit for extra heavy lenses. Let me get your picture. Stop, stop, hold on. Let me get your picture. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this doesn't bounce all around. A lot of people are saying, oh, does the camera move back and forth on the Altura rapid fire strap? Well, it's his job. It has to move up and down, but you have limits. See these guys here? I can actually stop where I want to raise the camera so I can do my photography and my imaging. And then you have yet another limiter that stops it from bouncing around when it's on your side. And if you're not using it, lower the other limiter so now it holds it in place and you can run after somebody and get their picture without having the camera flop around so yes it does move but not willy-nilly
does the safety tether open up very easily? No, it doesn't. That's the reason why it's called a safety tether. This is a really well-constructed carabiner. It's meant to give you the additional safety or weight restraint if you're putting super heavy lenses and you don't feel comfortable by just using the rapid fire quick release plate. Well, guess what? This guy is going to guarantee that it stays on there. And notice how you have to push in to open this. So unless you are banging this up against the wall or something, I don't see how this action is going to occur simultaneously or automatically. This is something that even if you're doing a lot of movement up and down, it's always staying connected properly. And even if it's flush against your body, again, you have to actually physically press in for the spring loading feature to get it to release. So I don't see this being as an issue where you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna have a problem with this opening up by itself. It's not an option. Can this work for left-handed shooters? Of course. Notice how easy it is, especially if you have a camera with a tripod collar on the lens. Notice how much more simple this is to bring up, do my focusing and shoot, and bring it right back down. It makes it really simple for the left-handed shooter. All you have to do is place it so that your dominant hand is bringing up your camera, and then of course you're always doing either your zooming or your focusing and your shooting. So that if you're ambidextrous, absolutely you can use your left or right hand to shoot with no problem. Can I use a mirrorless camera with it? Absolutely. And there's a lot more of us mirrorless users out there. Many different brands. Here I happen to have an Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II. It's a relatively small mirrorless camera, but I have a huge lens attached to it. This is the 40 to 150 2.8 Zuiko optic. So it's, it's a big lens. So guess what? It works perfectly with the Altura Photo Rapid Fire Quick Release on the strap attached to the lens collar. That way it hangs very comfortably. It doesn't become an issue with me carrying it in my hand or with a wrist strap. And when I need to use it, ready to shoot. And it stays nice and comfortably on my side doesn't become an issue. So again, all mirrorless users, no problem working with this. Tripod collar? Absolutely, I can work with a tripod collar and the Altura Photo Rapid Fire Strap. Notice how it attaches perfectly to the tripod collar on your lens and it hangs comfortably on the side. Set your your limiters to where you need to bring it up. This one happens to be a lighter lens, but it still works great with the use of the tripod collar. Using a magnifier loop that attaches to your tripod connection and the rapid fire strap to boot? Absolutely, this is awesome. It actually gives me a much easier system to carry this because Face it, this is not a small camera, not a small lens, and this one happens to be one of the Hoodman designs. So there's many different ones out there, but I've grown accustomed to working with this one. I've had great results with it, has a nice eye cup, but notice how easily it attaches. I bring it up, do my shooting, and hangs on the side very comfortably. And here we have it attached. Notice how easily you have many different attachment points on the base plate of this custom bracket, which is made for Hoodman. But notice how well it attaches here and how easily it is to remove the lobster clamp so that you can take it off in a hurry if you need to attach it to a tripod. But it gives you a nice secure connection. Absolutely no issues to be able to work with this and your existing magnifying system.